Question number 5. You are given this curve cubic curve. Figure 2 shows a sketch of the curve with the equation f of x. The curve passes through minus 2 comma 0, 0 comma minus 3 and touches the x-axis at the point 2 comma 0. On separate diagrams, sketch the curve with the equation part a f of x plus 2 part b f of minus x. On each diagram show clearly the coordinates of all the points where the curve cuts or touches the coordinate axis. This question has 6 marks. You are given this uh, cubic curve. They, in part a they want you to sketch f of x plus 2. This is f of x. And if you learn sketching cubic graphs clearly and uh, uh, not only sketching cubic graphs, I'm sorry, that uh, transforming functions. This is cubic graph. We know for sure this is a cubic function. In chapter 4, transform transformation, we know that if we replace f of x by f of x plus 2, it means you replace x by x plus 2, the graph will be translated left side, left side, two units. That's the transformation. If it is f of x minus 2, the graph will be translated along x-axis two units to the right. So the first one is the translation of the actual graph f of x to left two units. So what will happen to your, uh, these points? We have three points minus minus five comma zero, two comma zero, and zero comma minus three. That's the y-intercept. So when you apply this transformation, your y coordinates of the point will be the same, will remain same. X coordinate will be translated two units to the left. So when you translate this point to the left, two units will be minus six minus seven or you need to subtract 2 from the x coordinate. So this will become minus 7, 0. 2 will become 1, 0. So 0, comma 0. And this point will become, the x coordinate of this point is 0. So minus 1, minus 2. Y coordinate will, will be the same. There won't be any changes in y coordinate. And the shape of the graph, the shape of the graph will remain the same. So we are going to translate this graph to the left side, two units. So let's say our minus 7 is here and 0 is here. Then minus 2 comma minus 3 is here. So when you translate this graph, the new graph will be something like this. This is the new graph f of x plus 2. This is the new graph f of x plus 2. So in your exam you are given a blank space. So you need to sketch this. Uh, don't sketch the actual function. You don't need to sketch the actual function. Only sketch this one. The f of x plus 2. So this is f of x plus 2. Label the graph and access very clearly. This is our translated graph. If it is f of x minus 2, take the actual graph, translate it to the right side, 2 units. And then, you need to show the points where the curve cuts or touches the coordinate axis very clearly. So this point, you can just, uh, you can write 0, 0, it's origin, so you can just leave it as O. Then your this point, you don't need to show this point, or even if you mention, that's not wrong. And this point is minus 7, minus 7 comma 0. In part B, they want you to sketch f of minus x. You are given f of x and the point of intersection with the coordinate axis. This is f of x. We need to find f of minus x. So if you learn the transformations clearly, if you are given a function f of x, the minus f of x will be uh, reflection of the actual graph over x-axis. That means you need to flip the graph over x-axis. If you replace x by minus x, x by minus x, you have to flip the graph over y-axis. 
So we need to sketch f of minus x. We are going to flip the graph over y axis. So when you flip the graph, your point 2 will be, will be transformed here minus 2. So this part of this curve, we are going to flip it here. This part, only this part of the curve is being flipped here. Then how about this one? This one also we need to flip it this side. So minus 5 will become 5 here. And will be 3, 4, 5 here. And this point will be the same. So that's it. So I'm going to rub off this actual graph f of x. So you know clearly which one is the transform function of this f of minus x. That's it. You have to flip the graph over y axis. So your new point of intersection will be 5 here, minus 5 becomes 5, 2 becomes minus 2. So you can write the points. The initial points were minus 5, 0, 2, comma, 0, and 0, comma, minus 3. So when you apply this transformation, you need to divide the x-coordinates by minus 1. So it will be 5, comma, 0, minus 2, comma, 0, these two points. And this will remain same because 0, the x-coordinate is 0, it, is, it won't be affected. And y-coordinate remains the same. y-intercept won't be affected. That's it, and label the graph f of minus x. That's it. If it is f minus f of x, you take the actual graph, actual graph, flip it over the x-axis. Question number five, part two. You are given another diagram. Figure three shows a sketch of the curve y equals k cos of x plus pi by six. The limit is zero to two pi, where k is a constant. The curve meets the y-axis at uh, square root of 3 and passes through P and Q. Find the value of K and the exact value of P and the exact value of Q. The question has three marks. The first part A, they want you to find the value of K. How do we find the value of K? We take this point, the y-intercept is root 3. That means the point is 0, comma root 3. Substitute the point here, you got the value of KL. When you replace y by root 3 and x by 0, it will be 0 plus pi by 6. Pi by 6. You need to know what is pi. Pi is like 180 degree in radian. If you haven't learned the radian yet, pi is equal to 180 degree. In radian, we call it pi radian. So pi by 6 is equal to 180 by 6, 30 degree. You need to use, you need to put your calculator in radian mode and find the value of cos pi over 6. So root 3 equals k cos pi by 3 cos uh, 60, which is root 3 uh, cos, sorry, pi by 6 is 30. So cos 30 is root 3 upon 2. Use a calculator. So you can cancel it. 2 is k. You got the value of k. That's it. The k is 2. Maybe substitute this k back into this equation. You got 2 cos of x plus pi by 6. Now the second part, part b. They want you to find the exact value of p and q. Okay, how to find the exact value of P and Q? There are two methods. One is using transformation. Let's compare this function with the actual cosine curve. The cosine curve starts from 1 and intersect the x-axis at 90 degree. Or uh, in radian, you can take it as a pi upon 2. Then again, next point of intersection at uh, 90 plus uh, pi. 90 plus pi, 90 plus 180, which is 270, or you can write it as 3 pi by 2. This is the actual cosine graph. Now, this is cos x, cos x. Now, if you replace x by 
cos of x plus pi by 6. If you replace x by pi by 6, pi by 6 is 30 degree. In transformation we learned, if you replace x by x plus a, the graph will be translated to left side a units here 30 degree or pi by 6. So when you move this graph to the left pi by 6 units, this new point will be pi by 2 minus pi by 6. Or maybe for easy understanding purpose, I'm going to use degree. This is 270 degree, 90 degree. Take this as 30 degree because pi by 6 is 30 degree. So when you move this graph to the left side 30 degree, this will become 90 minus 30, 60. This will become 270 minus 30, 240. So we know for sure this graph, this graph is cos of x plus 30 degree. So this point of intersection will be 60 degree and 240 degree. You want to change it to radian, you multiply by pi by 180. 60 degree multiplied by pi by 180. So your answer will be 3 pi by 3 here. This is equal to pi by 3 and 240 multiplied by pi by 180. For uh, 3 eighths are 24. 4 60 3. 4 pi by 3. 4 times 60 240. 3 times 60 180. 4 pi by 3 or pi by 3. So we know for sure the value of P is pi by 3. Value of Q is 4 pi by 3 because this graph even you multiply by a number, the x-intercept won't be affected. So don't worry about this number. Only the y-intercept will be affected. Don't worry about this number. So this graph is the translation of this cos x by pi by 6 units. Or in other words, 30 degree. We are shifting the graph to 30 degree left side. So your new point of intersection will be P and Q. This is one method. Or the other method... Now the second method, if we take a look at the actual cosine graph, we know for sure that if you talk about uh, in between 0 to 360 degree or 0 to 2 pi in radian, the graph will intercept cross the x-axis at 2.90 degree and 270 degree. That means the value of the y-coordinate will be 0 here or the the value of this function, cosine function will be 0 at 2 points. That means this whole thing, 2 cos of x plus pi by 6, I'm not going to use pi by 6 now because we have degree here. It will be 0, if it is 0, the theta, you can bring the 2 to the other side, it's still 0. This cosine function will be 0 at 2 points, 90 degree and 270 degree. That means this theta will be x plus 30 degree will take two values 90 and 270 in between this interval. So when you bring 30 to the other side x is 90 minus 30 or 270 minus 30 to 40. If you want to find it in radian this is supposed to be pi by 2. 270 degree is 4 pi by 3. Now, if you use radian here, pi upon 6 here, pi upon 6 is pi by 2, comma 4 pi by 3. 270 is uh, not 4 pi by 3, 270 is pi by 2 plus pi is 3 pi by 2. So when you find x, x will be pi by 2 minus pi by 6 or 3 pi by 2 minus pi by 6. Take LCM and simplify. It will be, uh, you can multiply by 3, 3 pi minus pi, 2 pi by 6 is pi by 3, which is 60 degree or pi by 3. Here when you simplify, 
we multiply this by 3, this by 3, 9 pi minus pi is 8 pi by 6, 8 pi upon 6, or you can write it as 4 pi by 3. If you don't want to use this radian, it's completely alright. You can use degree, find the solution, then convert the degree back to radian by multiplying by pi by 180. Whatever your answer is, your answer is first one is 60 degree, another one is 240 degree, multiply by pi by 180, you get this answer. Pi by 3 here, 4 pi by 3 here.